Hi everyone, I'm Tom and today I'm going to be playing Fresco, which is a game where we play painters who are trying to get the most prestige in, you know, collaboratively we're going to be painting this Fresco, but it's a competitive game where we are trying to have done the most towards it basically, and uh, please the bishop the most. I'm playing a two-player game today, there's a couple of changes for that, They're mainly it's Leonardo over here, a dummy player who is alternately controlled by the players turn by turn, I'm going to be the first player. Uh, so I'm going to be controlling Leonardo this turn, and it's going to swap back and forth between us. Uh, I would encourage you to turn on the Klingon subtitles. If I've made any mistakes, they'll hopefully be corrected there. And if you fancy supporting the channel, uh, there's a Patreon linked in the description and up in the corner of the screen somewhere. Thank you so much to everybody that has already. So let's get started. The first thing that we do in a round, and uh, the game goes, by the way, until there are six fresco tiles left in uh, the middle, or we have gone through all of the portrait cards. Oh, and I should mention to start with, you can play this game in uh, in a more basic mode, uh, in, a, in a, the way that a lot of Queen games work, the publisher of this, uh, you can play it, basically the, the paints would go here, the money would go here, and uh, you can play the game with uh, fewer colours. There's, uh, there's some advanced colours that we're putting in here. You can play it without any of that stuff, without uh, ability cards and, you know, collecting certain tiles to get extra points. You can have a simpler, you know, family style game, but I think adding these things in is not a huge rules overhead and it does add a lot to the game. And there are even more modules. So there are three modules in this. There's a there's a kind of promo module called the scrolls, and then there are two expansion boxes, I think, each with three more modules in. Yeah, so if you if you end up liking fresco, there is a lot of fresco to go around. But hey, let's actually get into it instead of keep stopping myself. So we decide when we are going to wake up. We can wake up at five, six, seven, or eight in the morning, and it's going to affect our mood for the day. You know, waking up very early is going to put you in quite a bad mood, and that's going to move us up and down this mood track. And you want to be high up in the mood track. If you get into one of these plus one spaces, you get yourself an extra apprentice, which is an extra action for as long as you stay there. If you go down, though, you're going to lose one of your existing five apprentices and get fewer actions every round. So that's playing into your decision. Whoever wakes up earliest is, of course, going to get first dibs on each action they choose to do. But also, first thing in the morning, the market is very expensive. You know, they've got all of their prime goods here. They've got all of their best stuff. And they know the whole day's ahead of them. They're not going to let it go for nothing. So the market is the most expensive if you wake up earliest. But you're going to get first pick. If you wake up later, of course, you're going to be in a much better mood. Uh, you get last pick of everything, but the market by then it kind of knows that uh, all the best stuff's gone and they just want to sell off everything else. So everything just costs one at the markets if you wake up later. So I get first choice. I am bottom out here. Later on in future rounds, the person who is last in points gets first dibs on the waking up table. Now, if I woke up first thing, it would be great for having the choice but I would straight away, one, two, three spaces, I would straight away lose one of my apprentices. So I don't really want to do that. I'm thinking about one of the actions is go to the cathedral and paint a fresco. One of the tiles that's out, in fact, there's two of them here, just need the basic colors to paint. And I could, I could just do that straight away. Or do I want to do some mixing and stuff and get some better points for my efforts? I think I'm, I'm actually going to make it a little bit late. I am going to wake up at 7 a.m., not have any change in my mood, and all of the tiles in the market are going to be two thalers each. But expect me to inevitably say money or dollars from this point onwards. I think Marty is going to wake up a little bit earlier. And get in my way a bit there. And so now I decide what to do with Leonardo. Leonardo doesn't care about money or mood or any of that. He has some set things that he's going to do in each place. But do I want him to go before all of us or after all of us? I think for now, let's, let's have him go first and, uh, and really get in the way. So Marty's mood, he's woken up too early and he's in a bit of a bad mood here. So he slides down there. No change for anyone else because Leonardo doesn't have it and I am on zero. So now we go to the planning phase and the game normally, you know, if, if it's not being filmed to show off, uh, you have uh, little player screens that you hide your action board with and then another screen that you hide all of your paints and money with. Uh, but luckily, Marty is looking the other way. Uh, so 
now it comes to the time when we need to do our planning. We take our action board here, cover it up with our player screen, and then you take your apprentices and you're going to put them on the various actions. Each apprentice on an action space gives you one action there. And you have five apprentices unless you've gained or lost them by the mood board. And so I can either go to the market. It's where you're going to get new paints and the tiles that have been randomly drawn from the bag show you what is available. And we know how much each tile is going to cost. You only get to buy from one of the markets, but you know how much the tiles are going to cost. Then we have the cathedral. That's where we come and actually paint the frescoes, or there is a, there's an alternative option to get some points. That's basically trading paints for points. Over here, we have the studio, and you can come here. Each apprentice can get you three money, but also because we are playing the portraits module, we have two portraits on display here. Now, one from each player, one person can paint a portrait if you sent more than one apprentice the extra ones will just get you money as usual but we can get some special powers from here uh, in this case we could either get the muse which would send someone straight to the top of the mood track which could be good for marty because he's quite low on it or it could give you permanently one income of money every round there are other ways of getting income in the game that's a cool thing to start off with the workshop over here is where we come to mix paints. There is you know, a little uh, player aid there showing us how the paints are mixed, but you can also claim these things that we'll cover later on. You need to have painted at least three things in the cathedral for those to matter, but they are extra point scoring opportunities. And finally, you can come to the theater and each apprentice that you place in the theater moves you up two spaces. Leonardo, by the way, doesn't plan. He always does the same thing with his apprentices. So what would I like to do? I would like to get some more stuff, but I don't know which market is going to be left for me. I know that two people are going before. I'm, I'm always going to get something. There's always going to be one of the markets with stuff in it for me. But which one is it going to be? You know, I might just get left with the ability to buy an orange, which is good because that's a mixed color. Usually I would have had to take an action and turned a red and a yellow into an orange. Uh, and, you know, the workshop comes after the cathedral, so I would have had to have mixed it and then wait till next round to paint it. But I could grab an orange here, and an orange could be used right there. That seems like something Marty would do before me, then. I'm probably not going to get the chance for that. So I might be able to buy loads of paints and then do a load of mixing. That could be a good idea. Now, being third here, maybe I shouldn't have put Leonardo first. I'm going to stick with it. But it means that I'm not getting one of these cards. Leonardo's going to take one of these away. So, so going here is exclusively just to get money. So I don't think I particularly want to do that. I, I might send, I think I'll send at least a couple to get me some paints. Maybe I will do one bit of painting. But if I leave myself with no money, then next round, I'll have all of the paints from the, mar from the market and stuff. Maybe... Yeah, I might just have to get income next time. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go for the workshop twice for mixing some paints. Yeah, let's see how that goes. But this is kind of assuming that Marty's going to go for one of these cheap things. So while all of that was happening, Marty was deciding on his actions. And he's definitely going to the studio and getting a portrait. He is going to paint a couple of things, I think. And he will go to the market twice as well. That's his setup. So now we go to each of the places. And in the order we woke up, we are going to take actions there. So at the market, Leonardo is going to take actions. And so I think, yeah, maybe Marty, was, <laughs> Marty shouldn't have made this decision. Marty's gearing up, I think, to do a couple of these by going to this market. So all Leonardo does is shut down a market. This is one of your options, by the way. You can buy as many tiles as you want from one of the markets, or you can just use your whole action to shut down a market, get rid of all the tiles in it, and nobody can pick that uh, this round. So that's what Leonardo is going to do. So I think Leonardo is going to shut down juicy market number three with its, you know, for, for, for three money, Marty could have gotten hold of, you know, three reds or three yellows. So they are all gone now. And Marty can make his choice. He's still got a decent choice, though. He can go for... I think he'll go for orange and red. So he'll definitely pay three for an orange. But is it worth three just to get that single red? 
Now, unfortunately, he's got... You just grab it from the supply, by the way. So he could do... What is it? An orange... It's an orange and a blue over there, unfortunately. If it was an orange and a red, he could just buy another red from somewhere, from, from here, and get to do two things. No, I don't think he's going to pay three just for a single red. That's going to stay there. So anything left over gets put back in the bag. And so I actually have a, a decent choice here. I'm definitely going to pay two for three blues. That seems like a no-brainer. But I think I'm also going to pay two... So I've spent four there to get a single yellow, just so I've got some variety for mixing with. Because, you know, mixing, mixing blue with itself isn't really going to get me <laughs> very far, is it? So they go back in the bag now, and there's going to be a different selection available next round. We then come to the cathedral. And so Leonardo is going first. Leonardo always paints something at the cathedral. He always paints a bit of the fresco. He can move one space up, down, left, or right, and paint something. Later on in the game, if there isn't a tile to his, you know, up, down, left, or right, he will jump to the lowest value tile. But for now, there are, you know, there are tiles everywhere, and I can see that, yeah, un unfortunately for me, yeah, if, if Leonardo does this, Marty can still paint this for some nice points. I think, and we'll we'll. We'll see why this is. He's going to go over here and he's going to paint this one for... Now, usually he would have to trade in the paint, so he would need an orange, a yellow, and a blue to paint this, and he would get five points for it. Leonardo, though, doesn't need paints. He just grabs the fresco tile and I'll knock all of them around in doing so. He gets his five points, and so we take his uh, worker from... Actually, the workers are supposed to stay on those S spots, and I'm supposed to use these for the waking up. Only <laughs> in the subtitles. So he gets five points now. And he gets a fresco tile in front of himself. So he would get himself a nice income having painted that. Uh, and he's got an orange splotch for these uh, workshop tiles. So once you've done three things, if you have three with orange splotches on, you can claim this and get eight points. Uh, and it entitles you to some more income once you get these. It would give you an orange as income and uh, as well as a money. But you can, just as soon as you've done three, you can claim this generic one just for six points, and it will get you a basic colour every round, as well as a money. Leonardo has painted something, though, that is next to the bishop, which, you know, unless he jumps away, it's, it's likely he's going to do that. If you paint the tile that the bishop is on, then you get three extra points. If you paint a tile he's adjacent to, you get two extra points. So he gets seven here. And normal players do have the option to spend a money before they do this to move the bishop one space anywhere, diagonally or orthogonally. So then the bishop moves to the just painted space, and we can go on to Marty. So if I'd sent him over to this side to do this one, Marty would still have had the bishop next to this tile. So we come over to Marty's two actions, and yeah, he's been denied a bit here. Oh, actually, there's one right here he can paint for a load of extra points. So Marty's tempted to pay the bishop one Thaler to move onto here because, you know, adjacent, Marty gets two bonus points, but over here he would get three bonus points, but he's not going to, and I'll show you why. He's going to paint this part of the fresco, so you can part any, paint anything. It doesn't have to be near the bishop. You just want it to be for the extra points. So he's going to paint this piece, so it's an orange, a red, and a yellow that needs to go back to the supply. And he's going to get five points plus two because the bishop is stood next to it, not on it. So that will give him seven points, which is the same as Leonardo's points. In Fresco, nobody is ever allowed to tie for points. You either have to choose the space in front or the space behind. So Marty is going to have a free point and he is going to go straight to eight. Flip this over and Marty now gets uh, one Thaler as income. He did choose to have a second action here, but he's got nothing that he can do, so he is just going to have to forfeit that, unfortunately for him. Then we have the studio. So for the portraits, he will paint something if possible. So I'm basically choosing what Marty's going to be allowed to have. Do I want him to be able to shoot straight up to the top of the mood? Probably not, or a, an extra income for the rest of the game. They're both quite good. I don't want him to be able to shoot from the bottom to the top of the mood board. <laughs> so, yeah, Leonardo is going to uh, paint this portrait. So that is out of the game. 
When Marty comes over here, he is going to choose this one, so an extra income for the rest of the game. And that's it for the round for him. I didn't choose to come to the studio, so I'm going straight to the workshop. So Leonardo will try and do something here. If he meets any of the requirements of these tiles, he will uh, achieve one and take our opportunity to do it away. As it is, he's only painted one thing, so nothing happens here for Leonardo. Marty didn't come here. I just came here twice. And actually, I've skipped my painting, haven't I? I need to do something in the cathedral. So I was going to pay the bishop one to move over here and just do a basic painting, which I think does mean I'm not going to be able to do two blends, which is a waste. So I could, I could choose to just not do that, to just hold off on all of the painting for now and do better ones as they come along. I've, I've, I've wasted my uh, person in doing that, though, if I do that. Yeah, I'm going to pay the one. Bishop's going to come over here. I'm going to do a painting with, a, with the three basic colors. He was on top of it, so I get three plus three. That's six points. Unfortunately, I'm last, but I am getting some income now. It's got no splotch on it because none of the nice blendy colors were used to paint it. So now in the blending situation, I can only really blend blue and yellow, which makes uh, green, if you don't believe me. It's on the blending chart right there. And so one of my apprentices is wasted as well, which is annoying because you know, that apprentice could have gotten me plus two mood or three money. Same for Marty's wasted one. So there we go. That is the first round. We now go back to waking up times and it's defined by the position on the victory points track. So I am in last place and will get first choice of when I want to wake up. Oh, I'm skipping ahead, aren't I? We need to refill the markets with some tiles. So that's what we're having in number one. Not very exciting. There we go in number two. There were two tiles in the bag, by the way, that didn't come out that, well, that don't come out each round. So you might see a different selection each round. The orange hasn't come out. The green's come out. There we go. So market three, quite good again. And we also need to get our incomes, don't we? Which I think is, all right, it's two for Marty and just the one for me. He's got his uh, portrait. We also need two new portraits to come out. So this round we have the actor permanent ability. Whenever you go to the theater, your mood increases by three instead of two. And we also have the abbot who is going to give you, whenever you get bishop bonus points, you get an extra point for the rest of the game. So two nice abilities there. Marty is now in charge of Leonardo. And I choose when I want to wake up. I think I'm going to go for the same time again. I'm going to go for 7 o'clock to try and get some cheaper market prices. Marty, or actually Marty needs to choose for Leonardo, but he's choosing for himself straight after, so you can kind of decide here. He, he's still quite well off on money. And he's going to be earning more in the future. I think he's going to do the, basically the same again. So he is going to move back two spaces here and he's going to lose an apprentice while he's down there he's in a very bad mood from all of this early waking up and leonardo is starting us off so where does marty want to buy things from because leonardo can close off the other thing We're actually correcting a mistake from last round the bishop always moves to where something was last painted marty painted something there so i can still move the bishop say there but i would only get two for being adjacent so i am uh, i need to be doctor point I think Marty is going to go for market two. So he's going to have Leonardo clear out market three. And he's actually, has he got nine, six, seven, eight, nine? Yeah, he is going to just clear out this market, I think, because it's a nice combination of colors, a, a nice ready mixed green. Uh, so he gets two more blues and then a yellow and a red. Then these go away. And for my choice, I think I'm just going to pay two and have the red and yellow. I don't think I'm just going to pay for the blue on its own. And the last one does get cleared away still. So everything back into the bag. Uh, and I was supposed to be uh, planning out purchases, wasn't I there? So Marty actually sent three people over to the market. I would have just done the one. I think his other thing is just going to be for mixing. Oh, he did want to go to the studio though, and he can get a card. 
yeah, what if he did that? He'll get a he'll he'll get a portrait. So I know I'm not getting a portrait, so I won't bother thinking about that. Can I paint anything nice with this green? Or do I want to do more mixing? I probably want to try and get some money. I would like to improve my mood so that you know I could wake up late and not have to worry. Or wake up early and not have to worry, rather. Do a bit more blending, maybe? Yeah, I'm gonna do a couple of blending things. There we go. A bit late, but we're we're finally there. So the fresco. So Monty's got the choice. And you bet you're basically awarding Leonardo a load of points here. Monty's got the choice of giving him 9, 11, or 24. So I think uh, away from the bishop, we'll just give him this one so he just gets nine points. That puts him on 16. And then the bishop comes over here. And he's got his, uh, his second yellow there, his second orange there. Uh, and then neither of us went to the cathedral. At the studio, Leonardo's going to take one of these away. So does Marty want an extra bishop point for the rest of the game or extra for going up at the theatre? Because Leonardo will take the other one away. I think Marty wants extra points for the bishop for the rest of the game. So Leonardo just gets rid of that one. If any would just award him points, he does get those. But obviously he's not bothered about moving up in the theatre because he hasn't even got a, a master painter on the theatre track. So I'm still coming here just for the money. And I'm not disappointed, I knew that's what I was getting. And then at the workshop, he's still not eligible for anything yet. I'm coming here purely to blend paints. And I'm actually thinking big. This could end up being a giant waste though. What I'm thinking is, the special blends at the bottom here, look at brown, you need to blend an orange and a green. I've got a green, how do I get an orange? would be yellow and red. So my two blends, I think, are going to be yellow and red to orange, orange and green to brown. And then look at the points available for a brown. If I can get a green in future, 17 points. An orange, and that's near the bishop, uh, 17 points. 20 if I can get the bishop on there. But the one in the middle here, if you can get a pink as well, and pink is, a, is a purple, so that's blue and red. And then mix the purple with a red to get pink. So if I can get all of that together, 24 points, 27 if the bishop's on there, huge, which makes up for all of my uh, turns not actually painting uh, much. So I'm going to do that. So red and yellow make orange, and then orange and green make brown. So I have a giant paint cube now in front of me, brown and some blues. And then finally, I am the only one going to the theatre, so I move up two spaces, and I'm quite happy with that. So the end of the round, we get our incomes, so it's one for me, two for Marty. And he is actually, he's only got four money, so don't know if he's going to the market. I'm going to be in control of Leonardo this time, and putting the market decks out again. And here is what has come out in the market. There's a green available. Did I want a green? Uh, no, it's purple. I want, I want a red so I can mix. I want two reds, basically, and then two more blends. If I'm going for that one in the middle, but the, is the time that I'm taking to do it wasted because everyone's getting ahead of me? So waking up times we are deciding on as well. Oh, we also need some cards. So we have a merchant, which is any two basic paint pieces and a coin when you take the card, nothing else after that. And a peer, which is a red and four money. I would quite like to get a card this time. I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wake up at six o'clock. Marty's next. And what's his kind of plan? He's ended up with a green. I can't really be sure what he's going to end up with, though to properly plan out what he's going to do. You could always paint, you know, the basic three-pointer down here. It gets you more income. Or, you know, there's a basic down here with green, but he's already gotten an orange splotch. It would be nice to end up with an income of orange. I think, though, since he's only got four money, he's going to wake up at seven, which isn't improving his mood. He's still only got, you know, four apprentices. So I could make Leonardo wake up early. Yeah. and. And make sure that Marty can't uh, get a card for a change. The tables have turned. Okay, at the market. I'm second, so wh what do I want to buy? 
Everything's going to cost me three, but I do have, I have ten money. Now, ideally, I wanted two reds. So does that mean I'm coming down here just to get these? But I wanted, what, what do I need for, for a pink? I need purple, which is red and blue. So yeah, that would get me there. And then another red makes pink. So if I want to do that, it's possible. But you know, for all of those big points, where does it get me? Oh, I, I know what I'm doing. I'm buying from number two. So I think, yeah, let's, let's limit Marty's options just to, just to be able to buy. He can only afford two things anyway, but let's make it, he's got to buy those two if he wants them. I'm going to spend, oh, I've, not, I've not done the actions again. <laughs> I, uh, I'm trying to plan out what Leonardo is doing making me forget. So I, I want a portrait. I think I'd like to buy three things. Yeah, let's... I want to paint something. And I do want to go to the studio. Yes, yes, okay. There we go. Marty's just going to go for a bit of everything. So I am going to buy all three of these, apparently. <laughs> That's what I decided. Six, seven, eight, nine. So I've got one money left. And my income's terrible, so these, uh, these paints better last me. So I'm getting a green, two yellows, a blue, and a red. And Marty is just going to go for it. It's only going to cost him two. He's just going to go for the red and blue rather than the red on its own. That just gets discarded. Then we come over to painting, and it's Leonardo first. So he's got to paint something. And you know, I don't want Leonardo to run off with the entire game. I also don't really want him to have three oranges either. Maybe... Yeah, I can't put him down here to paint something. What if... What if he paints this one? So it's going to be nine plus two for the bishop is 11 points. So he's on 27 now. And that gives him another purple and his first green. So he's still... Yeah, he can... He's actually going to get one of the lesser ones. So I've, I don't mind that as much. And the bishop moves to where he painted. And so my plan, I'm not going to get any bishop bonus, unfortunately, but I, I think I'm going to do this one. Yeah, it's me next. I've got one painting. I think I'm, I'm going to go for this. So my brown and my green. And that is 17 points added to my five. So that's 22. So I've caught right up there. And I've got a green now and another income. So I could go for the greens if I, if I am planning for that. Next up, uh, Marty... Is painting something apparently. Oh, so the, the bishop teleports to where I painted. And I have actually, I've helped Marty out here. He's going to paint. Is he going to pay? Basically paying him money for a point. Yeah, he's going he's gonna to pay. Yeah, he's going to pay to move the bishop over there. And he's going to do this, which is just a green and a red. No problem there. And Marty gets four, plus three for the bishop, plus one on his card. So that is going to be eight points for that one painting. Goes up to 16. He's got a green and an orange now, and two uh, one monies. So the bishop is on there, and that's all gravy. Dun, dun, dun. Yep, over to the studio. And it's Leonardo first. He's going to take away... Now, I haven't got a great deal of money, so would I like one money and two basic paints, or four money and a red? I think I'd like... Oh, more paint's very tempting. No, four money and a red. And so Leonardo would take the other one. Marty's not coming here. Over at the workshop, Leonardo first, and he can claim something. So whenever Leonardo is able to fulfill one of these, he will. And that's kind of why I stopped him from getting uh, an orange one. Just because it's, it's more points and it's a nice one to have. And there's only three of each of these. So he's done three things. This is a general request. As soon as you've done this, he can claim that and get the six points. No stopping him from doing that because, you know, it's the third round and he paints something every round. Now, normally, when one of us gets this, instead of having, you know, three income, you now have converted yourself to only having one income. So you've lost out a bit there, but you do get a basic paint every round. In terms of Leonardo, though, these are just removed from the game now. Then it comes to me, and I didn't do anything here. Marty is mixing something. And what would he like to do? Because he can kind of be thinking, where is Leonardo going to end up? Making purple is red and blue, and he'd have a yellow left over. I think he's going to go for that. It is making things that don't fit in with his... What would orange be? Red and yellow. 
And if he could get a red, he could maybe paint this one and go for a second orange. Yeah, he's going to do that. So instead of going for the purple, he's going to do red and, orange, red and yellow into orange as his mix. Uh, and then Marty came to the theatre. He is going to have his apprentice back next round. There we go then. So what do we need to do? We need to get some new portraits out. So we have straight away get seven money or straight away get four money and two up the morale track. And I'll set up the markets. And there we go. Market three has actually ended up being terrible this round. So I don't think Leonardo is going to be shutting that down. Okay, uh, Marty is in control of Leonardo, speaking of him. And so where does Marty want to wake up? I don't think he particularly wants to wake up early. Oh, we haven't done income, have we? He should have two more money. And so should I. I think maybe since he's got such a low amount of money, if he's getting in market one or two, what if he just goes for absolute last dibs? He's not going to get a card again. But he could end up with a load of paint. He has got enough for this one. So he would kind of like to go before Leonardo for that, before the bishop shoots up here somewhere. But I think, yeah, he's going to go up on the morale track and he's going to go cheap this round. The next up is my choice. And I, I might have been tempted to go for that one because one away gets me my extra apprentice. So I think it's pointless going at six because Marty could still make Leonardo go before me. So uh, yeah, I'm just going to go at seven. No change on the morale and everything costs me two. And Leonardo doesn't really matter where he goes. He's going before anyone anyway. Okay, so now we'll do it properly. We'll plan out our actual round for the first time since I think the first round. So yeah, Marty isn't going to shut down a good market with Leonardo because he's last. He wants something good to end up. So I think I want to buy, I want to buy at least two things. And if I end up with a load of basic paints, I can't really paint much. Do I? Maybe I want to have a bit of a painting break again and go for some mixing and stuff. I would like to go to the studio and get a portrait at least. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to paint something this round. And we'll do some... I could do two blends. I can't get something yet. If I painted something, I could get a general request and get an income of some paint. And I would paint before Marty, so I could do this basic one. Ooh, yeah, I'm, I am going to do a painting, but then I'm going to do a blending. There we go, well, two blendings. Yes, okay. Marty, I think he's going to go for some paints. He wants to paint one thing, and you can save this up, you know, and do you know, three big paintings at once. Maybe Marty should do that, because if he could do both of the oranges in one go, it's just he's got no reds. Unless he could go to market three and get some reds if that's what he really wants. And then he could do a couple of blends. He could, uh, he's not going to get a portrait. So everything's only going to cost him one. Yeah, he's going he's gonna to buy three things. He's not going to paint anything. Is two blends enough? He really just wants two oranges, so he, he wants one more orange. Yeah, I think that is enough, and then he will go to the theatre and keep improving his morale. Yeah, that's his plan. Okay then, so going to the market, Leonardo's going to shut something down. What is he going to shut down? Marty, I don't know what he's going to shut down because Marty wants to, Marty wants red and yellow. So he wants three to be available. So then he wants to leave something open so that I am not going to go in three and mess his plans up. I think, yeah, he'll shut one down because, you know, I've, I've got a green. Maybe I'll be tempted to go to number two. So then it comes to me buying and how much money have I got? Seven and everything costs me two. Yeah, I'm going to spend six and have all of this. Just keep building up these paints and maybe I just won't bother going to the market one of these times. So it's a green, four reds and a blue. And, you know, everything's behind a screen. I wouldn't. I probably wouldn't remember what Marty's got and what he's going for. So he's got three money. Is he going to spend it all to buy something here? Or is he going to move the bishop? Yeah, he's going to buy two of them. He's going to get the red and yellow, definitely, for value. He's got loads of blues. So I think he's going to get another... 
red. I think it's another red that he needs, actually. And then the others just get discarded. Then Leonardo's going to paint something. Marty's going to send him here for the fewest points. So that is... And it, uh, it doesn't help Marty out yet because he's not painting yet. Uh, so he gets six points there. <laughs> this is way ahead of us. And the bishop jumps over there. As for me, I'm painting something. I've ended up with this green now. So yeah, I was just going to paint the basic thing. So things that only need a green, it's just this one. Everything else needs another blended color, every other green. So I'm going to paint this one. I'm going to pay to move the bishop there so that he's nearby. Uh, and so that's going to cost me a green, a yellow, and a blue. No problem. And that gets me seven points because the bishop was adjacent, not on it. So I'm on 29. But that's my second green. So now rather than just getting... I was just going to go for the generic one and just get an income of a basic color every round. But maybe now I'm going to wait so that I get a green as income every round. Because you... Now this doesn't really happen until later on in the game when most of these have gone. But you can, instead of painting a piece of the fresco, you can uh, contribute to the altar here. So you can trade in a set of basic paints for two points. But for each substitution that you make for a green, orange, or purple, you get an extra point for each of those substitutions. So if you just, uh, well, if you did a set of all of them, you can move up to this one. Uh, for a set of all of the three basic blended paints, uh, green, yellow, green, orange, and purple, you get six points. But substituting for a pink or a brown can get you plus three and plus five points for that. So if you trade in three browns, you basically get six plus 50. You get 21 points if you trade it in uh, three browns. But for now, while we're painting, while well, there's frescoes available, we don't really do that. Unless you really want to. So yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold out for another green one, I think. And so thinking about that, I've got loads of reds left over. Can I make a green and a purple? Making green is blue and yellow, so yes, I can. And making purple is blue and red, so yes, I can. So they're going to be my two blends, a green and a purple. Purple cube vanishes on the table. I'll put it up there so you believe me. Uh, Leonardo couldn't claim anything. Marty is blending something. So his plan is to have another orange available. So that now he can do orange and blue, and then orange, red, and blue, which means he's going to skip his other blend because he's not got. He's only got two blues, and they don't blend to make anything other than just blue. So yeah, we're done with the workshop. Have I skipped the studio? I've skipped the studio, haven't I? Do I want seven money, or four money and two morale? I think four money and two morale. Oh, actually, Marty decides. So yeah, he would. He would take that one away from me actually because he can see that I'm about to get a worker. So. He, it, it, it's not much of a punishment because I do still get seven money. But yeah, Marty is in control of Leonardo for these purposes. And Marty went to the theatre, so he gets plus two. And there we go. Okay, then prep for this new round. We need some more portraits. We are well into these. I think we had some bees last round. So we have an infinite power to be able to move the bishop some extra spaces. From the sexton, this means that you, you pay a money still to move the bishop, but you can move him anywhere, not just one adjacent space. And we also have another muse that we saw earlier that will take you straight to the top of the morale track. We need some income, so that's uh, two for Marty, three for me. And it's Marty's first choice of when to wake up again. Oh, we need to fill the market, don't we? And there we go, no blended paints available this round. So when does Marty want to wake up? He's only got three money again. But maybe he doesn't want to buy anything. He wants to... So we can kind of do some planning for him. He wants to paint two things at the cathedral this round and claim a bishop's request and maybe even claim a card. What if... Ooh, this could be nice. What if he's not bothered about painting at all? Yeah, he wants to make sure he goes first. He's going to go here again and get some more money. So he's not going to end up with many paints here, but let's, let's see how this goes. So he's going to wake up first thing in the morning because uh, it's, it's me in charge of Leonardo, isn't it? Yeah, he's going to make sure he's first so I can't get in his way. Or well, Leonardo can't anyway. I would like then, I'm going to go last so that I can get my extra worker. So, Marty moves down three. I move up one. Oh, it does mean I'm not going to get a card. That's a shame. 
I would like my extra worker, though. And so Leonardo, doesn't matter where he goes, he's going in between us. Okay, then. So, at the market, Marty hasn't even come here. Leonardo's going to shut something down. I think number two is probably the nicest. Going to shut that down. That's got the nicest variety going in there. So I can buy... Oh, I've not even planned my stuff out. I don't know that he's shut that down. So I've got... Everything only cost me one. I've got my extra worker. Do I want to paint anything? I do, don't I? I've got my, I've got my green and purple and red. So I want to paint one thing. It's, it's only worth going here if I want money. So I want to claim my green workshop thing and then maybe do some blending? Yeah. I'm happy with that. Okay, so I'm in the market now. Everything only costs me one. So I think... I've got so many red, I'm going to come over here. I'm going to go for these two definitely and then another blue. Uh, so that costs me three. And that's three yellows two blues, and yet another red. And then all of those go away. Nobody bought from this one. Uh, so I think that stays. Okay, next up we have the cathedral. So first up, it's Marty. And he, he could choose to move the bishop for some extra, it's an extra point each time he pays. Does he want to do that? Oh, he should have an extra money actually because of his card, shouldn't he? So he's got four. He's going to end up with no paints. I, I don't think he's going to pay to move the bishop. He's got his card to get to make up for the point uh, he would lose. He's painting two things. He wants to paint here and here. So that's going to be two oranges, two blues and a red, which he's got. So the bishop would be adjacent each time. So that would be 9, 11, 13, 14, 15 points. And he could pay two to boost that by two. No, he's going to go for the 15 points. So he's on 31, jumping ahead. He's painted these two things. So the bishop would move to the first one, then the second one, so. Move it away so that uh, Leonardo doesn't get some extra bishop points. And Marty's now got his three oranges just sitting there. He could, he could save them to get a load of income. But I think he's going to trade them in. We've come to the same time of doing this, haven't we? Uh, so I am just painting the one thing. I'm doing my purple and uh, green and a red. Absolutely nowhere near the bishop. I should have painted two things. I could have done this basic one as well. Oh, well, didn't think of that. <laughs> so I have my three greens ready. Then the bishop comes over. Oh, actually, I think he would paint something. Let's, uh, let's have him paint another purple. I'm not too happy about. He gets seven points for that. 46. Bishop will be over here. Then I paint the bishop will be over here. Okay, that's all fine. Then we come over to the studio. So Marty first. Does he want a card? I think he does. Oh, yes, he definitely does. The card he wants is the muse to put him right at the top of the morale track and get his extra worker next round. Uh, Leonardo takes the other one away. Then at the workshop... Leonardo can't claim anything, and so doesn't. Then it's... Oh, Marty's first. He is trading his things in here, so he's basically giving up some income. He would be getting three income from here. He takes this and the eight points that come along with it. So he's on 39. This gets put face down on top of this stack, so you can't use these three to claim something else. But he now gets an income of a money and an orange paint. And look, orange paint's everywhere here. So that could be really good for him. And he still gets three income. Not too shabby. And, oh, he had two people at the studio, so he, he's getting three income. And it comes to me, and I'm using one to claim the same thing Marty just did, but I'm doing it for greens. So I'm getting a green as income. Green is still in a lot of things. Still decent to have. So I get eight points as well. So I'm on 37. So I'm in last place now. But I have... I have an extra worker here. Marty just had his one. I had two workers. So I would like to mix something then. And what would I like to mix? What if we go for... I'm not close to, to getting anything. 
let's we get two mixes, don't we? Let's make let's make some oranges. I'm gonna do two reds and yellows. Yeah, into oranges. So that's that there. Nobody went to the theater, so we stay there. And yeah, that's it. So some new portraits. So immediately get four points and a purple, uh, or four money and a blue. Come off there. And we need to fill these market stalls back up. Income, I get two money and a green. Marty gets three money and an orange. Which I, actually, all he has to paint is uh, uh, an orange and two blues, but he can, he can buy stuff. Uh, the orange has come out in the thing, unfortunately, perhaps for Marty. So I'm last and I'm deciding when we wake up, but Marty's in charge of Leonardo. So do I want to get up early then? The trouble is, if I get up very early, I'm going to lose my extra apprentice, and I like having that guy around. So I am going to wake up at good old 7 o'clock and not suffer any morale punishment. Marty, he's got some money now. He wants, definitely wants to buy a lot of paints. He's got some blues, maybe he'd go for the middle one or he'd want another orange. There's nothing that just wants orange though as a blended paint, it's orange and something else. He doesn't need the morale, but also he doesn't want to lose two morale and lose that worker. But he's gonna do it, he's gonna, he's gonna wake up earlier than me. And he's going to put Leonardo before any of us to make sure I don't get a card here. So he moves down two on the morale and forfeits his worker. And now we do the planning. So I still have mine. So what am I gearing up to do? I've got... So I could do something that needs a, an orange and a green. I'm sure Leonardo is going to do that one away from me. Things only cost two, so even if I get left with... Space number one, I'd like to buy those reds, I think. Painting at the cathedral, am I going to do it or am I going to wait? I might wait and build up. Although if we could do, like, what if we did orange, green, and blue, and then I've got one of each of the basics, I could maybe do those paintings. Yeah, and at worst I could do the altar. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to paint two things, I think, because then I could claim some, I could claim the generic tile at the workshop, I'm not going to go to the theatre because that's a waste. I could pick up some money. Yeah, let's go to the market twice. It's, it's really cheap. I'm at least going to buy two things. Okay, and Marty, what's he thinking? If he goes to the middle one, he wants to buy at least two things. Is he going to paint something this round? He definitely wants a card at the studio. And he's going to want to do some mixing. Does he want to go up in morale and get his worker? He wants to paint more things with green in, really. So for green, he's going to need blue and yellow. He can get a load of yellow. And he's got a couple of blue. Yeah, he's... Or maybe he wants to paint the basic thing. Stop me doing it. It is just sitting out there ready for the taking. Yeah, he's going to do that. Okay. So, what's going on? We have the market, don't we? So, first of all, Leonardo's going to shut something down. Where does Marty want to buy from? I don't think he's going to buy from here. He's going to buy from the middle one. That does leave me with quite a lot of things. Maybe yeah, I, can, I can buy... The three reds. Well, I've, I've put two things down. Yeah, it's not going to help me out massively getting three reds. So Leonardo's clearing that one out. Marty's got two purchases. He's going to buy from here. So that's going to cost him six money. And he's getting four yellows and a red. And it comes to me. And so these would have gone. And I am going to pay my four cash. And you do convert money into points at the end of the game. It's not like you want to just get rid of it all. I'm going to get three more reds. One, two, three. And a yellow. Over to some painting. Marty's definitely... He's, he's not going to... He's taking that away from me as well, which is a good thing. Uh, for him, at least. And he doesn't want uh, the, 
There's one Leonardo to get 17 points. He's going to get 7 points, though. 53. And that is his third. He's probably going to take... It's, it's not of a type as well, so he's probably going to take the next generic thing, which I wanted. Then we come to Marty's painting. He's doing one painting. I don't think he can do anything... Yeah, with an orange, there's nothing special to do. So he's going to use his basics, and he's going to paint this. Uh, so he just gets three points for that. And the bishop comes down here. It is another income. So yeah, not, not a terrible thing. And so I'm apparently doing two paintings. But yeah, that's not going to happen, is it? So... I can definitely do one painting. I've got orange and green, so I could do one of these two. Let's say I've got more blue, so let's do the one with blue in it. I won't move the bishop. I'm going to paint this bit, and that's seven points. And do I either waste my extra worker, or I could, you know, I can do a basic set. This is messing with my blending. But I could substitute, say, the blue or the yellow for this orange and I would get myself an extra point no I th I'll, I'll just do the basic and get myself two points it's something isn't it better than wasting my worker maybe okay next up we have the studio so Leonardo is going to take something away Marty will take the other thing He's kind of happy with money. Does, does, he, does he want just a blue? If he gets a blue, he could... No, he's going to get a purple. So he wants four points. One, two, three, four. Puts him on the same space as me. So he gets a free point, basically. And gets a purple cube. And Leonardo would have taken the other one away. I'm coming to the studio. Did I mean to do that? <laughs> Apparently for three money. And then at the workshop, Leonardo can claim something. He's going to claim the generic one again and get three points. And then all of that's gone. But there's only one more generic one uh, left. So the next person to paint something can claim that if... Uh, yeah, it's only one bonus point. But it is, you know, a, a basic paint income. So for us, Marty gets a blend. And I think what he's actually going to do... He's going to turn a blue and a yellow into a green. Oh, giving me a free yellow there. And then you can turn orange and green into brown. Because Marty's getting a free orange at the end of the round, he could do this 17-pointer. The bishop's probably going to be nowhere near there. Although, actually, Leonardo's there, isn't he? So he's probably going to, he's going to paint this. The bishop's going to be nearby. Ooh. I think for my two blends, I'm going to grab myself a purple with red and blue. And then I am going to add a red to that purple to turn it into a pink. Maybe I'll do this one. Or I could even build up for something even better. Or I could do all three there with... Now, that would have been just purple. Yeah, I could do this 13-pointer here with just two paints. Okay, that's, that's enough for blending. Nobody went to the theatre. So we're done for the round. Income. Marty gets one, two, three, four. And an orange paint. I get three and a green paint. And then new cards come out. I have uh, three money and a blue paint. Or three uh, points and two money. And here we go, ready for the next round. I'm going to be in control of Leonardo. And I'm going to get first pick, actually. I'm one point behind. So yeah, this is why you might want to choose. Marty might want to, wanted to have chosen to not get the extra point, to get one point less. And then he would have had first pick for this round. But as it is, I'm going to pick. Now look at stall number one there. Six pieces. Stall number two, on the other hand, is absolutely awful. I think I'm going to go for 7 o'clock, hoping that Marty's tempted to go at 8 so he'd get his extra worker. Is his next choice? No, he's not going to do that. He wants to go earlier. And I choose. Do I want to make Leonardo first? I don't. Because I would like a card. I'm going to make Leonardo last for a change. Okay, then. So Marty gets first pick. Of the places, so that might not be a great idea. Yeah, Leonardo could have shut down number one. But where's he actually going to go? Getting another orange could be quite helpful, couldn't it? 
Couldn't it? Not really, no. It's something good to deny me. Yeah, he has to, he has to, we have to sort out what we are going on here. So if he goes there, buys all four, if, he can only buy three of them. He wants to do one bit of painting, although he could wait. Now he knows the bishop's not going anywhere near. What if he waits and tries to get a pink this round? Because he can get another orange, no problem. And all he needs is a red to combine with the purple he's already got. And he could do both of these next round. We are coming to the last few rounds here. As soon as, as, soon as a round starts and there's only six pieces here, it's, that's the last round. Now Moss is going to do some buying. He wants a card. He wants some mixing. That's only two mixes. But I think that's going to be enough. Yeah, that's what Marty's going to be planning for. I'm going to plan on the assumption... I'll get, I'll get at least two buys. I wanted to paint something. I've got the pink and the orange. Although, in a similar way, I could just wait. Yeah, Marty definitely would go there because he wants blue, so he's got, um, he's got a good variety. I think if I could buy an orange, that would be brilliant. I could paint two things. But no. <laughs> I, I definitely want a card. If I'm painting something, I can claim something. So maybe Marty's doing that instead of blending. But if he isn't blending, he isn't getting his points. He's not painting anything, though, is he? So he's kind of giving up the fact that I'm going to go here and get... I'm going to just paint something. Maybe I don't want to claim something, though. Maybe I want to wait and try and get another orange. Okay, we'll do some more blending. I've got plenty of money. Okay, then, so... We reveal all of our planning, and Marty is going first. He's buying three things. So he's going to come over to market three. Now, he does get a free orange, so that does make it a bit less attractive, but you can turn oranges you know, into more browns. He's definitely going to buy the red and blue so that he can make a green, which can be combined with an orange to make another brown. Yeah, maybe there's his two blends. He makes a green. And then turns it into a brown. How does he make a pink? With a red. So he'll buy the yellow and red. So that's two things. And then does he just buy the orange? Yeah, he'll just buy the orange. So that's his three things. And that costs him three each. So... No, he can't afford three things! Hmm. So yeah, he wouldn't have put three people there. That would have been daft. Maybe he'd go for... So he'll not buy the orange. <laughs> yeah, he would still go there to buy the blue. That's going to cost him six. Yeah, he should have maybe have come a bit later. Where else would he have put the person? Let's let him do a take back. Just getting some money, maybe? Or more mixing? Maybe more mixing. Yeah. Okay, that's all of his stuff. Then... We're at the market still, and it's me. And I am certainly for, for just $4, you too could have three more reds and three more yellows. Bit restricted in my color combinations because I haven't got any blue. And then Leonardo would just shut down this stall. Then it's Marty first, he didn't come to the cathedral. Then it's me, I did come to the cathedral. I'm doing something with a pink. I think it was just pink and orange, wasn't it? Although I could do pink and green if I wanted to collect. I'm going to get another orange here. Or I could just save my pink for something later and just do something like... Oh, the bishop's next to here, though. So yeah, let's, let's do this. Let's do pink and green. And I'm going to pay one to move him. So he's on there. I get 16 points for that. So that puts me on to uh, 62. And it's another green. I could save up and get another income of green every round. That's my only one. Leonardo paints something. He goes last and uh, he just paints this. This is his only option to where he is, actually. Uh, so he's just getting nine points and the bishop teleports there. So he's on 65, still in the lead. And yeah, next round isn't going to be the last round. There are seven tiles out there. Okay, so that's all the cathedral. Then we go to the studio. Marty's first and we'll get a card. Does he want three money and a blue? Or three points and two money. I think, yeah, stop me getting blues. Uh, keep my options limited. He'll take three money and a blue. 
And so I am left with three points. And so do I want to be behind or in front of Leonardo? Because Marty's going to choose what Leonardo does. I'll just have last pick of waking up. Yeah, I, I don't mind. And, uh, and two money. Always go for the three points. Why not? There are definitely reasons, but not right now there aren't. So I just came here once. Marty just came here once. We are all done here. Leonardo just does nothing here because there's no uh, portraits for him to paint. And then we are at the workshop. So Marty's going first. And he's got two big blends. So what's he got here? A load of different colors. Now, if he could sort out, if he could do the brown and pink, because... So how does he get a pink first off? He's got a purple, purple and a red. And that gets him a pink. So that's one blend. And then he can make a green here. So that's one of his workers that gives him two blends. So he's making a pink here and a green here. He can make another brown with an orange and a green. So that's one of them. And then what will he be left with? All he can make is uh, another green. Why not? So Marty has got some very valuable paints there. He could paint this 24 and then he's going to get a free orange. He could do the 17. He's going to do some big paints, but it's not the last round. So that may, uh, that may come back to bite him. I've also got four blends to do. Although I, I was thinking of claiming it's only one extra point, but I do get a free paint. Though if I hang on and paint something with green in it, but I can't make green, I don't have blue and yellow. I'm just going to try my first action. I'm going to trade these in for this generic thing. So I get one point. And I'm going to get a paint as income. And then my blends, can I turn orange into something? Only if I had a green and I can't make a green. So I could make another orange. I think that's all I can do. I'll make two oranges with all the red and yellow that I've got. Nobody went to the theater, so that's going to be the end of the round. So come off there. We need some more portraits. And so we've got four points and a money or three points and go up a step at the theater. Then fill the markets up. Okay, then. So Marty chooses his wake up first. Oh, we haven't had income yet, have we? He needs three money. And then orange. And I get just two money. But I get a green. And I will choose a blue. That's my choice because I haven't got any. And... So now, deciding wake up. Once he has got decent money. Yeah, look, there's a green and an orange in there. Maybe he could paint three things. Green, orange, and yellow. At the moment, he's got brown and pink, brown and orange. All he needs is the orange, really, and the yellow. He could paint three things. How much money has he got? He's got eight. He's going to choose to wake up first thing in the morning. So he's going to go down one, two, three. Then it's Leonardo. He's going to have Leonardo go next. I'm not sure why, but he is. And then, yeah, I might as well have everything the cheapest possible and be at the top of this. Why not? Okay, then. So planning, Marty, so he's going to buy two paints and paint three things. Uh, I don't know if he's even going to do anything. Uh, he's not going to be able to do anything else this round. He's not going to be able to get a card or anything, but I think this is going to be brilliant. He's not going to be able to pay to move the bishop either, but uh, we'll deal with that. As for me, I can only really paint one thing. I think what would be good for me is to not paint anything right now. So I'm going to last anyway. I don't know what's going to be there. I don't know how many Marty's going to be painting. I don't know which market stall I'm going to be able to go to. I'll put two down because I'm definitely going to be able to buy two things. I'm not going to do any paintings. I'm at the top of morale. So I'm going to get some more paints. Let's get a card. We might as well. Maybe get some, I'll get some points either way. And... 
Although I'm last, maybe I'll be thinking, you know, I'm not going to get any points, but... I don't think I want six blends. I think four is going to be plenty. So do I go and get just get a load of money? Just do loads of blends. I might have to be turning these oranges into purple, into browns and stuff. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go for loads of blends. Okay, so we reveal, and Marty's first up at the market. He's going to buy the green and the orange, isn't he? So that costs him eight, all of his money. But he's got some amazing colors going on there. Then it's going to be Leonardo, and he... I don't think it really messes me up wherever Marty turns off. He'll turn this one off just so I've got... No, that, that gets... That lets me get more paints. I've got three blues. I've already got loads of the other colours. He's going to... Leonardo's going to shut this one. And so I'm going to spend just two Thalers to get two blues, a red and a yellow. Loads of paints. Then we come over to painting. So Marty's not moving anyone yet. So what's he going to paint? I think the plan was paint this one because we could do them in a good order. And the plan was this one, this one, and then he could do this one. So I don't think the bishop's going to be a factor in any of these. Yeah, what he should have done is gone second because then Leonardo gets next choice he goes first so make sure that I'm not going in front of him and then he would have had uh, two money sp spare by going to the other things should we do that for him I think that's going to work out better let's let's say that uh, Marty was doing some better planning because yeah I don't know if this does greatly help out it means he gets one fewer morale taken away as well but he, most importantly he's got two spare maybe he can move the bishop somewhere beneficial so Leonardo goes first, and he paints this. It's the only option next to him. So he's going to get uh, 21 points. So he's on 86, so far in the lead. Uh, but yeah, really juicy one was right next to him. So now, Marty can pay one to move the bishop here and do his first painting here for 26, seven points. So 27 puts him on 74. Marty's going to be way in the lead, actually. And the bishop goes there. Then he can pay to move the bishop here, because it's before each painting you're allowed to move him. Yeah, either way, it doesn't really make too much difference. So it's going to get... He's going to do this, brown and orange, so 17, 19, 20 points. It's 94, and so the bishop is there now. And finally, he's going to go for orange, green, and yellow. And that's going to be seven points. The bishop was nowhere near for this one. So that's 101. And unfortunately, he's not ended up with three of any colors, so he can't get a, a thing just yet. He's not really got many colors for next round. I don't think he's going to be able to paint anything next round, which might turn out to be a very bad thing for him. I'm not doing any painting at the studio. Leonardo's taking something away. And Marty's going to take away the one with more points than the money. Yeah. Uh, so Leonardo gets this, four points. I get three points and one up the morale track, which I can't have. Yeah, I only had one person at the studio. And then at the workshop, Leonardo can't claim anything. I'm doing three things apparently here. So I need to work out what can I paint next round with all. I've got as many blends as I need. Have I got enough paints to do it? So the most points, yeah, if I can get a pink, how do I get pink? It's a red and a purple. And you get purple from blue and red. So blue and red, and then another red is pink. So that's my first worker, gets me the pink. And then I've got an orange already, so I could do that one. And then I've got, can I get another purple? That's a red and a blue. 
So that's one blend. Turns that into a purple and I can do that one. Or I could get another purple and then turn it into a pink. I could do that one, in, that one instead that's worth more points, yeah. So we've got a purple and then a pink. And I have got one thing left over. I can't get another purple with this stuff. I could turn the green and orange into a brown. Because I'm going to get another green. And then if I do something in the altar, I'll get some more points that way. Yeah. Okay, so my big paint's going to come at the end. Is it going to catch me up enough? I, I don't think it is. Okay, so that was me at the workshop. No one's gone to the theater. We're all good for that. Okay, then. So I'm absolutely the last place and getting the first pick of this stuff. For the cards, three money and a red. Bit useless. Four money and a yellow. Bit useless to come out right at the very end. Uh, this is the last round now. So much was painted there. Four things were painted. So we have the market filling back up. Income is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven for Marty. Good, because he's got no money. I don't think he can do anything paint-wise. For me, it is just two. But I'm quite well off. And a green for me and an orange for Marty. Oh, and I get something else. Oh, let's get a blue, why not? For the final round, by the way, our action tiles get flipped around and we now, instead of going to the theatre, which doesn't matter anymore, we can go to the cathedral again at the very end. So maybe Marty can do something. Uh, and by the way, uh, Leonardo doesn't go to the cathedral anymore. He's not involved in this last round. So hopefully I can beat Leonardo. But yeah, Marty's got the potential to be able to paint something else. He's already got an orange, which he's got an orange and a green. If he can get a purple, which, you know, all he needs to... He needs to buy a red and a blue and go to the workshop once and then he can paint something. So Marty's in control of Leonardo for this last round. If I wake up very first, I can make sure Marty can't paint that last thing. But it might be more worth it to buy some paints, mix them up, and just paint something really good here and get a load of points this way. Save my money. Can I make, what do I need? I've, I've got the paints to paint that and that. And I only need a purple to be able to paint that. Yeah, this brown's actually not worth anything if I don't go and do this. I could go here and I would get 11 points for doing that and not have to worry about this. I'm going to go for first and try and stop Marty from being able to paint anything. Because he gets the bishop bonus points. Then Marty would choose... I think he would choose himself to have the cheapest stuff so he's got the most money left over because every two money is a point. Yeah, that's what he's going to do. Okay then, so what do I want to buy? So leftover is this stuff. All I need is a, to mix a purple. I need to mix a purple. I'm doing two paintings here and I want to do another painting here. So that means I need to buy something. And what I need to buy is, how do I make purple? I need red. Now leftover stuff doesn't matter. I think Marty, to, I, I don't know this, but Marty to get blue, <laughs> to get purple needs red and blue. So I'm going to buy from here, and I'm just going to buy the red and blue for four money. That's all of my stuff. Then Leonardo's coming to shut something down, so what would Marty like? Oh, he hasn't done his uh, planning. He could end up with a load of blendy stuff. So he doesn't want to paint until the end. So he hasn't got anything he can paint with right now. Yeah, let's just give him some options for blending. I don't think he can do enough. Let's see how it works out. So he's buying. If he buys from here, he can get himself a green. He doesn't really need a green. And then he gets blue and yellow, which can be used to make more green. Or he comes over here and buys an orange, which he doesn't need. And then he's got red and yellow to make more orange. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, maybe he'll just go for some money. <laughs> and uh, it'll be worth more points. So he's going to buy a green and three blues. And choose to, that Leonardo will get rid of these. 
So that costs him two. A green and three blues. Then over to the painting, and I'm going to do my... So this one I'll do first. Or actually, would it be better to do these two? Oh, Le yeah, Leonardo isn't painting anything, which is great. So I get the bishop bonus from these two if I do these two together. But I've only got one purple, unfortunately. So I can't do that. So I'll pay to move the bishop, for a point basically, to there. So that's going to be 16 points. That 86. Then... No, maybe I should have done the two later. And I can pay one to move him again, but he's still going to be nowhere near, so I'll just do this one for 15. So that puts me on 101. Ooh. So I'm going to get to... I might just take this. Interesting. So I think these are out of the equation. I don't think anyone's getting any more of these. So Leonardo doesn't paint here. Marty's not come here. So we go to the studio. Leonardo's first. He's going to take one away. Marty's going to have this. Is he? Is he? Is he? Now if he takes three coins and a red, he can make purple. Yeah, just in case he can do something with that, he's going to take three coins and a red. And Leonardo would have taken the other one. He's in charge of Leonardo. Then we come over to the workshop. So first of all, it's me. So can I make... The bishop's going to be nowhere near. If I traded these in right now, I would get 11 points. Can I get another brown? How do you make brown? So I need orange and then another red. And then... Oh, it has to be mixed with a green, so no. I would need more than two mixes, which I couldn't have had. Can I make a pink, though? Make a purple and then add a red. So purple is red and blue and then add a red. I can't do that either. So yeah, it's, it's, it's best for me to just do the painting, I think, and then this brown is sadly wasted. So I've only got one thing to paint. I really restore the fresco or restore the altar. Yeah, all this, I think, is just wasted, and I didn't uh, need to come here. <laughs> I should have just picked up some money. I was, I was hoping that I would uh, think of a way around it. Oh, well. Marty, on the other hand, can probably do something about this. So he would probably you can't move the bishop close enough anyway so he would probably go for something like this what if he can get he can't get the purple either can he He can make the purple which is just six points yeah to ensure that he can get 11 points because he doesn't know if this is still going to be there he'll use one mix to make a purple and then he'll use this to make a brown because then he can do the altar and that's all of that leonardo can't claim anything so we come to the final painting it's me first and i um, not doing the painting, am I? No, I'm just, uh, I'm just doing the altar, and I'm substituting the purple here for a brown, which gives me five extra points. So that's six plus five, eleven points. That puts me on to a hundred and thirteen. Marty, with his one painting, is doing the same thing with a slightly different substitution. So it's going to come down to the cash. Oh dear, we get no income, which does help me out, but. Yeah, Marty having all of these tiles for a couple of rounds. He's got more money than me. I've got five money. So I basically get one change and four of that gets converted into two points. Marty has got eight money, which is four points. He wins by one single point. <laughs> How frustrating. But hey, well done. Good game, Marty. So that's Fresco with, uh, with its main three modules that come in the box included. Hope you enjoyed that and it gave you some good idea about the game. If uh, you'd like to know what I think about it, that's coming up very soon. If you'd like to support the channel and help me keep making these playthroughs, uh, it's patreon.com forward slash slickertrips and you get to vote on them and stuff. But most importantly, you, you help to keep make them happening, which is really what it's about, right? Thank you for watching though and I'll see you wherever you end up. Bye everyone. Take a beautiful look at that finished fresco.